Now, I don't know about you, but I am somebody who really enjoys having my snacks between meals on most days. And usually I'll just reach for something that's really, really simple, like uh, fresh fruits or nuts or hummus with crackers and veggies. But I understand that that can get a little bit boring sometimes. So if you're looking for something outside of the usual, I've got five easy snack ideas to share with you in this video. So final exams are approaching for some of you, and if you're a student who's looking for you know, some easy brain food to power you through those study sessions, hopefully we've got you covered with both sweet and savory snack ideas. As usual, the recipe breakdown for each can be found in the description box below the video. We always include imperial and metric measurements on our blog, so be sure to check it out if you're interested. And today's video is in collaboration with the lovely Mariana from Mariana's Study Corner. If you don't know about her channel, she is a master student and a master of bullet journals, planning, and school tips for students. The aesthetics of her note-taking is unreal. And she's also making a video about healthy meal and snack ideas for students. So be sure to head on over to her channel and check out her video after you've seen the recipes we'll be sharing in this one. All right, let's get snacking. For the first recipe, we'll be making this delicious, wholesome, and protein-packed vegan dip. It's so good, I was seriously eating it by the spoonful like a salad. For this recipe, you'll need to finely chop a quarter of a red bell pepper, a quarter of a red onion, a rib of celery, one pickle, a teaspoon of capers, three tablespoons of freshly chopped dill, and then finally grate one small carrot. Now it can be a bit of chopping, but any of the veggies here are optional. So you can add or skip as you like, but I definitely recommend keeping the dill and the pickles in there. They make all the difference. Now to a large bowl, add one cup of cooked chickpeas and mash it with a fork. And when it's completely mashed, you can add a cup of cooked red lentils, then all the veggies you just cut. So bell pepper, carrot, dill, pickle, celery, onion, two tablespoons of roasted sunflower seeds, the capers, half of a lemon, juiced, half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, three tablespoons of vegan mayonnaise, or you can use tahini for a more earthy flavor, and some salt and freshly ground pepper. Then toss everything to combine. Gently mash as you mix and that's it. Serve it with crackers, veggies, or like I said, eat it straight out of the bowl as is. And it also really works well inside of a sandwich if you're looking for something a little bit more filling. For the next recipe, we'll be making some pistachio, cranberry, and chocolate energy balls. These are perfect on-the-go snacks with whole food fats from the nuts and seeds to keep you going until your next meal. To begin, we'll bake one cup of rolled oats and half a cup of raw cashews in the oven at 350 Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius for 10 minutes. Now you can skip the roasting step if you want to enjoy these energy balls raw or if you're in a bit of a rush, but personally, I like the taste of it toasted a little bit better, so the choice is yours. Then we'll add two tablespoons of ground flax seeds and three tablespoons of water to a large bowl and let it sit to gel while we coarsely chop the cashews, half a cup of roasted pistachios, a third a cup of dried cranberries, and a quarter cup of dairy-free dark chocolate. Then de-seed and mash a cup of soft dates. And if your dates aren't soft, you can pre-soak it in warm water or add it to a food processor to blend. By now, the flax seeds should have thickened, so you can add to it the mashed dates, two tablespoons of maple syrup, and half a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Then mix it together before adding the oats, pistachios, cashews, cranberries, chocolate, and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and a little pinch of salt. Then toss everything until the mixture sticks together. Now you can roll it into bite-sized balls, big or small, however you think you're gonna enjoy it. Now you can, if you'd like, roll the balls in roasted coconut flakes to keep them from sticking together. And again, I personally just like the taste of those coconut flakes. The great thing about this recipe is that you can batch make it and enjoy it for days to come if you store it in the fridge or weeks to come if you store it in the freezer. And if I can suggest something, these balls go especially well if paired with some tea. Now this next snack idea is so simple, it's unbelievable. It's a maple syrup and cinnamon yogurt dip for your fruits. Now if you, like me, love having your apples dipped in nut butter, but sometimes feel it gets a little bit repetitive, give this dip a try. All you need is half a cup of unsweetened plant-based yogurt, I used soy, a teaspoon of maple syrup and a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Then mix it together and start dipping. It goes really well with not only fruit, but baked sweet potatoes as well. Now this next snack is one of my personal favorites. I first shared it on the blog back in 2015, so three years ago. It's great for anyone who craves potato chips as a snack. 
First, you wanna slice a potato as thinly and uniformly as possible. If you have a mandolin for this, it really helps make the slices uniformly thick. Then spread the slices onto a baking sheet, drizzle on a little bit of oil, and use your hands to evenly coat both sides. Sprinkle on a little bit of salt if you'd like, and then bake it in the oven at 350 Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius for about 15 to 20 minutes, stopping to flip it once halfway. And when it nears the end of its cooking time, just check on it a little bit more frequently because when the slices are so thin, they can burn pretty fast. Now while it bakes, we're gonna make the dip by adding a quarter cup of tahini to a food processor, along with a quarter cup of water, a quarter cup of chopped dill, a teaspoon of lemon juice, a teaspoon of white wine vinegar or other vinegar, half a teaspoon of salt and some ground pepper. Then blend it for a couple minutes until it's smooth. And if you don't have a food processor, you can just mix it all in a bowl. It's not gonna be as smooth and creamy, but it's still gonna taste delicious. And that's it. Serve it with the potatoes or even use the sauce as a dressing to drizzle over salads. And I'm curious to know, do you have dill pickled flavored potato chips where you live? Or is it just a Canadian thing? Because that's what these remind me of. It is so good. The final recipe is a vegan caramelized popcorn. And look, I never liked caramelized popcorn, but this I could eat by the bucket full. So we'll start by adding two teaspoons of coconut oil to a large pot on medium-high heat. Then we're gonna add half a cup of popcorn kernels and stir it. Add the lid and let the popping begin. And be sure to shake the pan every 20 seconds or so until the popping stops. Then start on making the caramel sauce. Add a tablespoon of coconut oil and three tablespoons of maple syrup to a pot on medium-high heat and bring it to a boil, stirring constantly for two minutes to prevent burning. Then remove it from the heat and add a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. That's gonna make it froth up a little bit. Then add two teaspoons of vanilla extract and a pinch of cinnamon. Then stir it and then pour it over the popcorn, tossing to cover it all. And then spread the mixture onto a baking paper to let it harden. Now a little heads up about that caramel sauce. You wanna make sure you're not undercooking it because that way it's not gonna thicken up and harden when you add it to the popcorn. It's just gonna make for soggy popcorn and no one likes that. You also wanna make sure you're not overcooking it because the sugar can burn. So if you keep it within that two minute mark, you should be good. Now you can add your popcorn to your desired bowl and start snacking. And although this recipe contains oil and syrup, which doesn't make it the most wholesome recipe of the bunch, I think it's really fun to treat yourself every now and then. This recipe is way healthier than any store-bought versions you might find. Plus popcorn is considered a whole grain serving, so it's a win in my opinion. If you are a student with final exams coming up soon, I totally feel you, I remember that. I just wanted to say I wish you all the best of luck and you are totally gonna smash it, especially with the right brain foods while you're snacking. So hopefully now you've got that covered. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment below which snack you're planning on trying first or share it with us on Instagram if you end up making it. And I'm also gonna again invite you to check out Mariana's channel. So I'm gonna link her channel in the description box below. Be sure to let her know I say hi if you stop by. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Pickup Lines signing off. We'll see you in the next video.